Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com. Today we're going to be learning how to install the electric actuated part of an aux locker. Alright, now what I'm going to do is mount the diff cover on the axle. Um, I'll put stick them on there. And what we need to do is make sure that this these threads stay where they're supposed to be, one to zero to three threads sticking out of the piston there. And we also need to make sure that this fork slides right into there when I put it on. So let's give it a shot. Make sure you've got a nut sticking, a bolt sticking there. All right. Now I found over the years with this thing that the cable is the most vulnerable part of the aux locker. And usually what I do is route the cable up and around. Um, that's what it calls for in the directions. But uh, that just leaves more cable vulnerable to hit on a rock or uh, whatever. So I think I'm going to try and bend that cable up right here and see if I can still push the piston in and out and uh, we'll see if that works. My shifter is going to be over here so I'll try to make just one big loop and we need to keep in mind that this axle is going to be moving up and down um, so we need to have some slack in the cable to let it uh, actuate up and down. All right, this is gonna be a tight bend, but we'll see if we can make it happen. Right there. Pass it back along underneath. Make sure you keep this thing away from moving components and anything hot. I think that ought to do it. Hopefully that's not too much of a kink. We'll see once we get it situated here. Alright, um, since you won't be able to see this once I get it back in there under the car, uh, what I'm going to do basically is uh, put some thread sealant on these threads here. Back this screw off just enough. Back the nut off just enough so that I can thread this on here. And I want that piston to be level with the um, with the block here, and then I want to go another um, what is it one and a half one and a half turns. So once this becomes level with the piston, I'm going to screw it another one and a half turns, and it'll just be barely sticking out about an eighth of an inch. All right, now that I've got that in place, I'm just going to take the shift actuator mechanism and mount that in place using the bolts provided. That just basically goes on to that. Um, you're going to have to line the holes up, but just make sure that uh, by the end of it, that piston is sticking out uh, sixteenth to an eighth inch and you can adjust that also by screwing it in or out left or right and it will screw in or out of the piston that's inside of the differential all right it's hard to see in there but that's it it's mounted right under my um, oil pan on top of the engine skid plate um, 
What I learned from doing this is if you're in a really tight spot like I am, it'd probably be best to put it all together before you put the mounting bracket on. That way you can get to all your nuts and bolts. Um, but even still, you'd still have to put the mounting bracket on with the four nuts and bolts and washers and lock washers. And that wouldn't be much fun either, but uh, it's just really tight in there. And it's the best place I could find to put it. Let's see what it looks like from the front. There's the cable, runs up, runs up and around, and just straight into there. Now I gotta hook up the electrics and we'll see how it works. All right, so I've routed my switch through the uh, dash and I've cut a little hole here. I've made this little uh, metal piece and I've got the switch in there. Now what you want to do is put your wires in this little connector. Blue wire goes to 7, green wire goes to 2, and black wire goes to 3. And then that's going to connect into your switch here. And then your red wire is going to go to ignition hot. And then your black wire coming out here is going to go to your ground. And then that's it, and we'll see if it works. Alright, let's screw this switch down. I've got it all wired up. Let me turn on the key, and we'll flip the switch and see if we hear anything. It's locked. Alright. Alright, we just pressed the, uh, the switch. It shows that it's locked. This should be moved over, and I'm going to turn that side, and if this side rotates forward, then we'll know we're locked. Let's check it out. That's it. It's locked up. Alright guys, so I would say that took about three or four hours to accomplish the electric ox locker setup. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, just give me a holler, and I appreciate it. Thanks so much.